What's up guys, Kids or Kicks here with something a little bit different for you today. This is the first episode of the FIFA 15 Rivalry Series. Now you may have seen me or Pudding tweet out about this. Basically our games on FIFA are always very, very close. So we've decided we're going to do a Rivalry Series where we play each other through online friendlies, through the seasons with the biggest rivalries in football. So we're going to be starting with the biggest one, El Clasico. Obviously a worldwide rivalry, Kids or Kicks 7 versus Pudding. And we're going to get this game on and see how we can plough through this season. Let's go. So I'm going to be playing as Barcelona. Pudding is going to be playing as Real Madrid. It does not get much bigger than this. The games are usually very close, so I'm looking forward to it. It literally could go either way. And hopefully I can come out victorious. But we're going to alternate uploading this. So one, I'm going to upload one game and then Pudding will upload the next one on each other's channel. And we'll go from there. But early doors, you can see Pudding has the first attack. Cristiano Ronaldo down the left. Cuts inside. Runs about past about three or four players. Has a shot from distance. But luckily for us, it is a tame one and there is no danger. But we pick the ball up. Danny Alves does well to keep it in play. Here's Xavi. Um, decent ball inside, he finds Iniesta, good dribbling from him, skins his man with ease, hits a shot from distance and Casillas gets absolutely nowhere near it. So 15 minutes in, it's the ideal start for me, not the start Pudding will have wanted, but um, Barcelona 1, Real Madrid nil, and you can see he just sidesteps his man, touches the ball ahead of him, gets it out of his feet and then hits a decent shot. It's not too much in the corner, but enough pace on the ball and accuracy to take it past Casillas. And then that man Ronaldo causing us all sorts of problems again. Putting feasible through Benzema with a decent chance on his left. Couldn't keep the shot down. And you can see shortly after that, we pick the ball up here. Suarez lays the ball back to Sergio Busquets. He plays it out wide. Danny Alves with a beautiful switch of play here. Um, picks out Neymar. He cuts inside onto his stronger right foot. Tries to finesse. Comes back off the crossbar. The rebound is headed back to Xavi. But his volley goes wide. And then it's time for some FIFA 15 theatricals. This is probably... And I'm sure you'll agree, the worst dive you lot have ever seen. He gets into the box, Ronaldo cuts past PK and then just elevates. That's probably the only word I can use to describe that. It is a definite foul, but it's not a red card. That has never been a malicious challenge. It's just purely mistimed as Ronaldo cut inside. But look at the height Ronaldo gets here. It's not even PK's feet that gets him, but look at that. That is outrageous. So put in then, in fortunate circumstances, is going to be playing the rest of the game against 10 men. And not only that, he's got the chance to equalise here from the spot. Ronaldo steps up, scores the penalty. Bravo goes the right way, but the ball finds its way underneath him. And Pudding is level. 35 minutes in, it's Barcelona 1, Real Madrid 1. And I have absolutely no complaints about the awarding of the penalty. It was a definite, definite foul. But the red card has just completely stitched me up for like the next hour that I've got to play now with 10 men. But it is a close game, so we'll see what happens. Here is Xavi. He plays the ball up top to Lionel Messi, takes a great touch, lifts the ball over Casillas, but Danny Carver Howe somehow gets back on the goal line to spare Pudding's blushes. I'm sure he'll be grateful for that. But five minutes before half time here, we pick the ball out wide. Danny Alves, this is another beautiful switch ball to Neymar, and he hits the cross in first time to Luis Suarez, who is pouncing on that like a pure predator, and he applies the finish to put us back in front four minutes before half time. Really, really good team goal that. Alves sprays it out to Neymar. First time cross and Suarez makes no mistake. But despite our advantage, we didn't take our foot off the gas and we increased the pressure as we approached half time. Xavi picks out Luis Suarez with a super ball and Suarez takes a shot early. Not sure why, but it goes a couple of inches over the bar. And then put in with probably the last chance of the half, gives the ball away as he tries to get himself back on level terms. The ball comes out here to Luis Suarez. We've got a few men steaming forward. It's a decent counter-attack. We pick out Iniesta, sees Casillas off his line and just hits the perfect finesse shot over the top of him into the back of the net to make it 10-man Barcelona 3, Real Madrid 1. And just look at that finish when we take a look at the replay. Casillas nowhere near it. The ball dips right at the very last minute under the crossbar. And we have a two-goal advantage going into the second half. So the second half begins. We've had a slight formation change and Ch Mascherano is coming on for Xavi to try and seal things up. But Messi decides to run from kickoff, goes past one, two, three, four players and with the outside of his left foot just rolls the ball very softly in off the under in off the bottom sorry of the far post to make it Barcelona four Real Madrid one and we had put in on the microphone we were talking to each other throughout the game and he was infuriated by that he called it disrespectful and he hates Lionel Messi from this day forward so 
Head up put in, but he nearly got himself back into the game. Cruz finds Luka Modric, sidesteps his man, hits a shot which was destined for the top corner, but Claudio Bravo pulls off a super, super save. And he comes forward again shortly after. Here is James Rodriguez, tries to find Benzema. He couldn't quite get on the end of the pass. And he goes in for a 50-50 and is clattered from George, by Jordi Alba for his troubles. But just over 20 minutes to go. Surely Pudding can't get back into it now. Here is uh, Sergio Busquets, some really good link-up play with Neymar, who tries to chip the ball into the far post. It comes off the underside of the crossbar. Casillas was beaten and Pudding gets the ball away. And the second half really continued its end-to-end -end pattern as he came down the wing here with Gareth Bale. Beat all his men, cut inside onto his left foot and then Matteo... Matthew, whatever you want to pronounce it as, comes across with a super, super block to keep the score at 4-1. And the corner was easily claimed by Bravo. And we went on a counter-attack here. You can see Luis Suarez takes the ball past his man, steaming forward past another one. Uh, really running out of options. It's only Messi he's got in support. He finds him. And with some tired legs, we decide to just hit one from distance, trying our luck. And how about that? For a finish, an absolutely unbelievable goal. It was one of those games for me where everything we touched turn to gold. Pudding was absolutely furious, but just have a look at the accuracy of this shot. It starts miles outside the post, curls its way in, absolutely no chance for Casillas as that goes right into the top corner. Messi really is just that good. And speaking of Messi being just that good, he gets involved again nine minutes from time. Iniesta picks him out on the left. He's got the pace to get on the end of the pass and it looks like there's no options for him at all, but he does a lovely bit of skill here to get past his man. Goes past him again. One more man to beat. Cuts inside, then back out onto his left foot. Strives in towards goal and lifts the ball over Casilla straight into the roof of the net. It's now Barcelona 6, Real Madrid 1. And put in, I feel a bit sorry for him at this point. He was seething and he's going to owe me a pasting. I'm sure he will enjoy getting revenge for this at some point throughout this series. But he very nearly pulled another goal back. Here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Steaming down the left. He was causing me all sorts of problems. Very direct with his running. He decides to put the ball into the area. Gareth Bale meets it with his head. But the header was tame and goes over the crossbar. But we come forward again looking to add a seventh goal um, to this game for us. Messi skinning his men again with ease. Goes past four or five players. This time he threads a beautiful through ball through to Luis Suarez. Could have squared it. Could have been sweaty. Decided to go for goal. And it was a very good save from Casillas. And then the ball finds its way to Jordi Alba and Casillas. Denies him again with some really good goalkeeping. And deep into stoppage time, Pudding came forward on an attack. Of course, goal difference could play a big part in this series. Hamas Rodriguez playing the ball through to Gareth Bale. A fantastic goal-saving challenge from Jordi Alba, or so we thought. Fortunately for us, the linesman had raised his flag for offside anyway. And as we look to counter-attack from that, the full-time whistle went, making it 10-man Barcelona 6, Real Madrid 1. But of course, it is only the first game of this series so Pudding's got plenty of time to get revenge and turn it around not quite sure what Jordi Alba and Messi were doing there some sort of celebration dance it did look very good but it finishes Barcelona 6 Real Madrid 1 confirmation of it there hat-trick for Messi 2 for Iniesta 1 for Suarez that's how the standings looked and we look forward to the next game of this series